Today, we're going to be going through the top five decks right now in June of 2021 in Clash Royale. I always like to do these type of videos at the end, towards the end of the month, at least, so we can kind of see what's vibing in the meta rest so far. And in this season, there's been a lot of good metas, a lot of them being bridge spam, though. Very interesting to see all these awesome decks come to life. No, I'm not sure about that one. I don't know if that checks out. We did a video like this a little while ago, and it did really well. So I want to thank you guys for that. Super awesome to see the channel growing. Obviously, all of you guys joining Sound Nation by hitting that subscribe button down below. We still have a massive percentage of you guys unsubscribed. So if you want to support me, best way to do that is going down and subscribing. And today, you know what? Since the last one, I got a bunch of likes. We're going to try and set a new like goal for today's video. We don't do this often, but if you guys can hit 1,000 likes, that'd be insane. If you hit 1,000 likes, then we will... Um... If you guys hit 1,000 likes, we will wear a green shirt with the green screen. It'll look weird, but I'll do it for you you guys if you can get a thousand likes so deck number one here as you can see it is a dark prince bridge spam deck but yeah this is basically a bridge spam deck you don't have the pack in it though obviously you have the cannon card dark prince for the um dark prince is super meta right now obviously the new card very strong on attack and this deck can really make it happen it's the number one deck this season with the highest win percentage obviously if you know how to play it you're gonna dominate let's get into battle number one battle number one of the day we have david p7 let's go bandit at the bridge i do like playing a little bit aggressive with this deck obviously you got to kind of find out what your opponent has then it's best to go all in and such but Right there, I mean, Dark Prince, Candy Card's going to be an excellent answer to this, guys. Dark Prince is going to soak up all of the... Sorry, the Candy Card's going to soak up all the Dark Prince's damage, and the Candy Card's going to move across. We're going to go Dark Prince in front of this, guys, to tank for the Candy Card. That's pretty spicy. Oh, my goodness, the Candy Card almost locks on. Almost. And the Dark Prince is honestly getting slapped up, but it does get a charge off. So even though it looked like a lot of Elixir, because it was, um, we did manage to get a Dark Prince charge off, which is huge. And it also helps if your opponent obviously has any card that can give your Mother Witch a lot of value. That is ideal deal when you can see oh my this is gonna be tough we're gonna have to go with the goblin drill here and barbell this because we need our goblins to put in a little bit of work at least barbell is gonna get that bomber killed which is nice we're gonna go cannon cart out here cannon cart's gonna be big it's gonna soak up this dark prince shots if he does manage to kill all the goblins and look at that guys the electro wizard or sorry the electro giant it's very strong but we do manage to take it out without losing our entire tower so that's pretty awesome stuff right there we're gonna go bandit right here he might have to mega minion this or go with a bomber or something that he doesn't want to place right we'll see if i find out nice he does go with the goblin cage we kind of force out a goblin cage there that's just gonna die to our cannon cart so that's pretty spicy stuff i don't know if he's got any answers guys to our dark prince not gonna lie boom dark prince moving up does he have to mega minion this he does and he's gonna have to bomber this as well the bomber's gonna die he is sitting at almost no elixir and since he doesn't have bomber guys we're going into the goblin drill very aggressive stuff but we'll see if he can defend it we have the fireball ready to go in order to back it up there this is we are bridge spamming right now as you can see he has to go baby dragon we're gonna get lots of damage off guys take our lead extend it by a lot and that was pretty awesome stuff let's go mother witch here to defend this baby dragon mother witch is gonna be great because she's gonna spawn a pig and she should survive right the tower aiding that mother witch is essential because obviously the baby dragon it has a lot more hp it would have been a lot tougher to take down we're gonna go cannon cart in the back we know he's going this lane guys or at least it appears that way he's going electro giant right now we're gonna have to go for a barbell we're gonna go for a bandit this defense is gonna be spicy the barbell just tanking everything's going well we're gonna go for this we do need a mother witch just to get some nice common support in the back sorry some nice constant support is what i meant to say there's the lightning it goes down we're going to go for an electro wizard here in a minute let's go electro wizards down we're gonna go dark prince or the Electro Wizard should clean up. Look at that. Let's go, Electro Wizard. Let's fireball this baby dragon. We got to take the value we can get. We missed. Oh, no, we hit. We hit those. We hit those. Let's go. That's actually big. Baby dragon does survive. We're going to go bandit right there. Boom. We're going to go drill. The drill was not placed well. Dang it. That was an accident. That was an accident. We are going to get shots off, but not the best drill placement, guys. We're going to go Dark Prince. He says thanks. Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. Let's go cannon cart right here. Yeah, we don't have any way of stopping this uh, Electro Giant right now. So I'm freaking out. Let's go Electro Wizard. Nice. The uh, bomber does get assassinated there. The Electro Wizard is going to help out. He's going to go for a lightning, obviously. The Cannon Card's big. The Cannon Card's distracting everything. Let's go Goblin Drill. Let's go. We have a big push right here, guys. If the Bandit can charge. Come on, Bandit. Oh, she's not going to be able to. Yikes. Let's go Dark Prince. Guys, this is tough because he has lightning, obviously. It's not over yet by any means. We're going to have to be really careful about this one. We're going to go Cannon Card. He's probably going to Electro Giant the bridge. There it is. Let's go. Electro Wizard here. If he lightnings, I mean, we are in trouble. If he does end up lightning um but we do manage to take it all down he nados instead of lightning which is actually huge electro giant's gonna get a shot off bandit please dark prince is hitting us up hmm this is tough we do have the lead but not by much do we just fireball cycle that might have to be the play let's just fireball cycle i guess oh nice but that's a really valuable fireball we hit a lot with that let's go mother witch right here mother witch is gonna be big 
Mother Witch is going to spawn up some big hogs, guys. Let's go Goblin Drill way out here. Maybe we have to try and take tower right now. I think we do. The pigs are going down. The Goblin Drill's down. We have Fireball as well. Goblin Drill's moving up. The pig is going to get shots off. The bandit nearly dashes. She's going to. Let's go. Bandit is huge. Clutching up with that one, guys. That is against a very meta deck. The Electro Giant Lightning obviously being an extremely strong combo right now in the game. We do manage to take it out, though, with this awesome deck. Game number one was spicy. Make sure to leave a like for that. Let's go. I'm happy about that, guys. 3.8 average elixir cost. Obviously, you can't be too crazy. The bird spam at the one times elixir, though. It was huge for us. If we didn't get ourselves that big lead, I think he would have gotten it gotten us um because we barely broke through there at the end very close match but ggs overall deck number two is log bait i love this version of log bait with the rascals prince and rocket this is as a super high win percentage because rascals are really strong the dark albums really meta the bandit once again with that awesome bridge spam seeing been in a lot of decks here today and then the rocket guys you can always get value out of that rocket fresh bread good luck man he's from duke's place let's see what he's got going on here uh we might bend it first play we might princess the bridge first play let's see i think we're gonna go for princess wow he goes with that. Let's just bandit. I mean, I guess we will kill them both. He goes bandit over there. That's kind of funny. Let's go Rascals right here. Rascals are going to tank very nicely. Our bandit. He goes Mega Knight for Yikes. That is actually not what you want to see. So I think we're going to have to let his Mega Knight hop and then just go Goblin Gang right after. Or we could tower trade with the Prince right lane. We're going to go for a riskier play here. We're going to go Prince right lane, guys. We're going in. Let's see what he does here. I'm actually interested. So the Prince is charging. He goes to leave barbs. We're going to go Dark Goblin here. The Prince is not going to get as much damage, guys. That was risky. It didn't really pay off, but it was cool to see um, because the Dark Goblin is going to be able to crush all of this, obviously. Let's go. Okay, wow. He does minor our Dark Goblin. That's pretty well played. Tower is going to take out the barbs, though. We do keep our tower, which is big, but at the same time, we're playing from behind now. I don't think that was the smartest move we could have done. Let's go Bandit right here. We probably should have logged that, but it's okay. It'll die. Nearly. Not really. Oh, geez, man. We're going to Rascals his Bandit, take her down nice and easy right at the bridge. Rascals are now moving across. He's probably going to Mega Knight this. That would be some really good Mega Knight value for him. We're going to have to go Prince right here if we can. So then both towers can target the Mega Knight. We're going to go Prince right now. Boom. Oh gosh, dude. We are choking this so hard. Prince isn't even going to charge. This is a big throw right now. I think we're just throwing. If we win this game, that would be incredible, but we are playing this one so bad right now. Let's see what it goes with, I guess. It's going E-Bars. We'll rocket them. He zaps. The Prince is going to get a shot off. No, it doesn't even get a shot off, guys. We do hit a really valuable rocket, though. We are playing from behind a big time right now. This is scary. Let's go split up Goblin Gang. That'll take it all down. Well, let's go Bandit out here. Bandit pushes up, maybe. Maybe he places Bandit of his own. He's going to struggle with this, guys. He's going to struggle. The Bandit dashes. Beautiful connection there. We might take Tower. That is a really, really big Tower take. Um, because, honestly, like we have Rocket. We can easily take that Tower down. He has Mega Knight. So, we got to be very careful, obviously. We're going to go Dark Goblin. We're going to take this man's Tower. Does he not have a spell? Shoot, the Dark Goblin was bad. Let's go Prince in the back here. He's got Elite Barbarians. we got to be very wary of that. Prince is going to charge up, though. It's going to be really nice here. Let's go Rocket. Um... Let's log. Let's go, Goblin Gang. We actually crush that. We actually destroy that, guys. He's going minor. He has to minor on defense. He's going to be behind on Elixir, guys. He's going E-Barbs right now. Probably an overcommitment on the Bandit, although it is going to dash. Let's go, Bandit. Mother Witch is down. Mother Witch is going to be decent for him, guys. It's going to be decent. Let's go, Princess. We have to log this right left side. Um, we do need to take his tower. He does not have a way of connecting. Shoots. Rascal's going to take it. Rascal takes it. This is insane. We've come back a ways. Let's go. Let's go. Dude. Let's go, Bandit. Let's go. Dash. Shoot. He is ready for it. He is ready. Dark Goblin's getting lots of value here, guys. We can't let a single one of these connect. No. What? What is this game, dude? What? We had a Princess and Rascals, and they let one connect? I'm actually upset, because this deck would have came back if that was not the case. You hate to see it. Deck number three of the day is a Golem Nightwitch Arrows and Zap Spell deck. This is extremely meta with the Skarmie in there. You got the Mega Minion as well. Very strong on defense, and it's a super fast cycle deck in terms of Golem Nightwitch. Only 3.6 average elixir cost. You're able to get a lot of them down. Good luck. This should be pretty easy compared to the last game where we had to sweat it out, and we still end up losing. Pretty salty about that, but we're gonna have to move on here. Golem in the back, first play. We got Mega Mini, we got Mini Packet, we got Arrows and Zap. Can't really go with anything too crazy. This is gonna be one of those times, guys, where I think we just tower trade it and we push in fully behind this Golem. Or maybe we go for the um, Zap spell here. It'll retarget onto our Golem. I think that's the play. Let's go for the Zap. 
Good, good play right there. All right. Well, let's just see what he does here. We didn't get any shots off, obviously, with that golem push. So we're going to have to be careful. Now that we have Night Witch, that's going to be a lot easier for us. He has Fireball and Log. Let's go. Let's go for a skeleton army in the back. We're going to wait a little bit. We got to be patient um, because he is playing 3.0x, but we're going to go for a Mega Man. Since he's distracted on that golem, we're going to easily be able to take out that hidden Tesla with pretty much no issues there. The golem's going to pop and the expo is going to retarget, but the expo is dead just in time. We could arrow those archers. Not going to be worth, though, in my opinion. The Mega Man is going to get some shots off, though, guys. We're going to be able to change lanes then. Since we just got some easy value there, let's arrows that. Double elixir's here, so the fact that we've gotten still pretty much half of our tower, um, since it's going to be double elixir, pretty big stuff, honestly. We're going to go Night Witch in the back right here. He's probably going to have to expo opposite lane if he wants to put on any sort of pressure, because right now, he's going to get a Golem Night Witch moving up. We're going to go Bomber right here. Um, so what he's trying to do right now is not allow us to get a Golem down. It's barely going to work. Shoot, we're going to have to zap this, guys. Just to save our tower. Certainly not ideal. We're going to go Skeleton Army over here. We're going to get ready to arrows everything. We win this as long as he doesn't get a super valuable fireball. That's the biggest thing that's killing us right now, those fireballs. Absolutely decimating our whole pushes. Um, we're going to go Mega Minion right here. Nice. The bats are getting tanked for, guys. The bats are getting tanked for. The bomber's underneath. Lots of damage about to be going down. We, he, he, we zap. We take the lead. Big lead take. Big, big lead take. He's going to have to do something, and he knows it. We're going to go Golem here. He's forced to Fireball on attack. That is big. We're going to be able to take him down, guys. Let's go. Mother Witch right down. He's basically just cycling. He's going to have to choose if he wants to Fireball on attack or defense. If he Fireballs on attack, guys, I think that's going to be GG's. He's going to be making a key decision right now, guys. We're going to be able to do 93 total. Is that going to be enough? Oh, the Bomber doesn't splash? We take it awesome match there against expo i mean we obviously had match up there we did not play that one very well we still get it done because the deck is just that easy to use we played that horribly though we'll take any win we can get obviously but this deck is very strong you definitely can play it better than i can go after it in some ladder you're gonna crush deck number four of five today this is obviously the mega knight miner spear grabs deck with the inferno dragon in here it's obviously very strong in the meta all these cards are pretty good right now plus the inferno dragon is really solid against golem decks guys so you're gonna be able to crush with that mega knight and inferno dragon combo you have the zap spell for any bats any sort of spam like that this deck's worst type of matchups is like a little classic log vein stuff because you don't necessarily have the best answer to the goblin barrel but not many people are using goblin barrels which is cool um for this deck very very strong stuff we get a little bit of chip damage with that skeleton barrel dropping right there the bats are moving up we're gonna go for a goblin gang on defense here ice wizard's really not super strong so i'm not worried about that um we're gonna go with some split up spear gobs in the back we're basically gonna, gonna be applying some constant pressure here the ice wizard's gonna be decent but we're gonna go minor right in front of that tower guys we're gonna take him down he's got a goblin cage bowler mega minion i think this is going to be Balloon, if I'm not wrong. Let's go Inferno Dragon out here. Let's go Mega Knight. I guess we have to Mega Knight the Bowler, guys, because I really don't want him, obviously, getting a bunch of damage off. So we got to be careful with that. Let's go Skeleton Barrel right here. Is he going to have an answer? Shoot, the Bats do sneak in front. He's just going to Barb Barrel this, guys. But he Barb Barrels really early. The Skeleton Barrel is going to fall behind, but the Mega Knight, guys, he's on the tower. That's going to be really, really bad. We're going to go for a Miner. We're going to maybe Zap just so we make sure we take his tower. No, we aren't going to do that. We aren't going to do that. The Mega Knight's going to shoot. We're going to get a lot of damage. That's almost towered down. The skeleton's putting in absolute work there against Cheesy Cheese. What is good, man? Let's go Spear Gobs right here. Spear Gobs are going to be easy. They're going to tag up this Mega Minion. As long as they get a couple hits, Mega Minion's going to fall to our tower. Really easy stuff there. And the Spear Gobs, they're going to stay alive. He's going to have to deal with them unless he wants them to get easy tower chip off. Guys, check it out. Easy shots. He's going Electro Giant at the bridge. So, that's going to be a little tough. We're going to have to Inferno Dragon. Um, the Inferno Dragon placement's obviously essential. He doesn't have any sort of zap, it appears. So the Electro Giant gets cooked up for a good amount of damage. Let's go for this. Let's go for all this, guys. The Miner is going to be huge here. We're going to go for some bats over top as well. Mega Knight's mo moving in. The Skeleton Bill's moving in. He has to uh, log that. Bowler's going to turn around. The tanking for the Skeleton Bill. He has to um, NATO that. We're looking good. The Inferno Dragon's going to cook up the entire Bowler. Talk about value. Thank you very much. We do take the left tower. Let's go Mega Knight right here. We basically just need to absolutely destroy and spam this electro giant to death because he, we don't have the best answers for it guys we're gonna have to zap him the zap spell proving to be pretty op we're gonna go for this we're gonna go bats we're gonna go spear gods we have a bunch of stuff going down right now guys the bowler the mega knight the miner as you can see you can put on so much pressure so fast with this deck we literally just took more than half of his tower in like 10 seconds an insane battle here today we crush we crush guys this deck proving to be one of the best so far because we have just dominated 
complete lead domination he tries good game not enough with the lightning spell there we definitely would have came up on top even if he took our tower because this deck the pressure we can put on so easily so cheap very very strong deck in the meta this has been deck number four the final deck of the day guys deck number five was an electro giant dark prince mother witch deck this is a very new deck obviously with the lightning in there the inferno dragon the bomber very meta it doesn't have the ice wizard in there because the ice wizard's weak so we're getting into a battle with a final deck of the day let's go for the final match of the day we're going against outlaws here let's go dark prince see how it's going we're gonna go just dark prince to see if he can force out a play big tornado there guys that was awesome the dark prince gets even more value than that person definitely wanted we're gonna go for a lightning spell right here that bomber placement was excellent we're gonna go goblin cage left lane he's playing bandit and wall breakers pretty interesting deck we'll see he's got king tower activation it appears i'm not exactly sure how he got it honestly i haven't oh maybe we misplaced our nato are we gonna see a bandit here let's go mother witch we're gonna push up guys if he's not gonna place anything this is gonna be a three crown just left the match no idea why we're gonna get into another match to showcase this deck's power we are against the same guy well the rematch has started. We know what deck he's got. We're going to go Goblin Cage. Let's just see what's going on. Um, I wonder if he recognizes it is us. We're going to go a really aggressive Mother Witch right here, guys. We're going to be able to do a bunch of tower damage with this. Um, and we're going to go Dark Prince in the back. Look at the placement on the Dark Prince. It's beautiful. Mother Witch piggies are going everywhere right now. Bandit's getting overrun. The Mother Witch is moving across. Mother Witch is obviously going to get clapped here. But we do have the Goblin Brawler unlocking from his crate there. The Dark Prince gets distracted. Goblin Brawler is going to take down the Bandit, which is pretty awesome. Dark Prince nearly going to get a charge off. Not going to happen, though. The Goblin Brawler is getting tanked for by the Piggy. Beautiful stuff. Look at the damage the Goblin Brawler is putting in there. We do score King Tower. Oh, no. We choked that. The, the choke on the King Tower, guys. Not ideal. Um, but we are going to NATO these bats. We do. We, I did not mean to NATO his King Tower. We're going to have to go with the Goblin Cage right here as well. Not ideal by any means, guys. Um, but if he goes Bandit here, maybe we just Lightning. Maybe we go for the aggressive Lightning. Let's do it. Could hit the Firecracker. Not going to happen anyways, though. We're going to get some shots off with this one, guys. Nope, we get one shot. That was not worth it at all. He's coming in now. Left lane. Let's go, Dark Prince. Let's go, Bomber. Bomber's going to be big, guys. Bomber's going to be big. It's going to take down that Firecracker. Dark Prince does excellent jobs on defense right there. We have a NATO ready to go now. He's going to go for the, some bats. We're going to NATO it all. Oh, my goodness, dude. We are going to lose our tower. Oh, no. Let's go, Goblin Cage, please. Goblin Cage is huge. It gets down. And the Wallbreaker is going to take it tanked for. Oh my goodness, the plays, guys. That was huge. We could have literally lost our tower there. But instead, we do make it out alive. Very clutch play. He's probably going to go Bandit here. We do not have a great answer for this Bandit. So we're going to hope. Okay, nope. Goblin Bar just lets it go. You hate to see it. We're going to have to let this Bandit just destroy us, guys. We're going to go Mother Witch here, I guess. So the Bandit doesn't take our tower. Um, not ideal. Not ideal, though. We're going to go ahead and lightning this firecracker, guys. The firecracker. We got to get her out of here. The Mother Witch's Piggy should take the tower. And with 800 HP left, we should be all good. Well, let's go, Dark Prince. Let's go Inferno Dragon, guys. He's going to bats that. Um, de decent bats, not going to lie. We're going to go for a bomber because we need to make sure we can defend this new card. Um, Inferno Dragon's helping, but not going to be the best, honestly. He does keep his tower as well. So he's going to take our tower down. No! He takes tower. We're going to have to just lightning this, guys. Let's just lightning it to make sure we take it. We almost lightning the bandit as well. Would have been cool. Would have been very cool indeed. Not going to happen. Though. We're going to throw down our Electro Giant for the first time this match, guys. Um, after we defend this Mega Knight, obviously. He's going crazy right now. Let's NATO those bats. Get them out of here, guys. The Dark Prince. Once we get an opportunity, we're throwing this Electro Wizard down. Or sorry, Electro Giant. And we're going to be going crazy. He's coming in. We're going to be able to bomber that, guys. Easy bomber. He's probably going to bandit the pocket, but hey, we're going to let him have it. We're going to let him have that. Um, bomber's doing work right now. Bomber should be able to take out these wall breakers as well, please. Nope. Mother Witch is going to be crazy. We are building up a push of the century right now, guys. We're going to go Dark Prince in front. We have things tanking all day. We have a lightning spell about to go down. Um, we're honestly, instead of lightning, we're just going to NATO everything in. Just NATO it in. NATO it to the Electro Giant. We are looking good right now, guys. We're going to Electro down the pocket. How is he going to stop this? He's not. The answer is he's not, guys. Look at the damage going through right now from the Electro Giant to Mother Witch. We have a Lightning as well. That is GG's. Well played. Thanks for playing, dude. But we absolutely crushed you two times in a row. Thanks for playing. So, yeah, this has been deck number five. This was a very fun video. Obviously, it's a bit longer, but it's a lot of fun to cover these best decks of the entire month. Hopefully, you guys did enjoy today's video. If you are going to use any of the decks, you enjoyed the video, or you want to support me, make sure to subscribe down below. Like I said, guys, it really does help the channel grow. But hopefully you guys are all staying safe out there. Thank you all so much for watching. Have a great day. Master Jidi-san.